Hi, uh, we're back here, and what we're working on is working on the component parts of all our subsystems in um, Robot Builder. We have a drivetrain, we have a t-shirt cannon, and we have an aiming system, and what are the parts of those is what we need to do right now. So, here we go. We've got our drivetrain. We're going to add a controller like we did yesterday. We have a Robot 2 drive controller, and we have, uh, we're going to have to add two can talons. Okay, and just like we did yesterday, we named one um, left and one right. So can tell one one's going to be left, okay, for the right left side, and we're going to give that like a can ID of one. Okay, can number two is going to be right, and that has a can talon of number two. So there's two talons, one's for right, one's for left. There, they have an ID number on the CAN bus of one and two. Okay, you can name them anything you want, but but um, I think it goes up to like like 500 devices or something like that. But right now we only have two, so we're gonna name one, one and two, and that's part of the robot drive. Robot drive is going to have um, uh, a left motor be CAN talon left, and a right motor of CAN talon right, and one of them has to be inverted. We'll say the left one's inverted. Okay. And that takes care of the um, the drivetrain system. The T-shirt cannon is special. It's pneumatic stuff, okay? And this is like you would get this no other place right now, but we're going to have a compressor, okay, I think. Okay, so, um, you know, this is going to be like T-shirt compressor. Okay, um, I'm going to let this PCM ID be there. Um, and then I'm going to have a, um, I, need an, uh, I don't think I need an actuator so much as a, um, I'm going to need like a relay. Okay, a relay is like a switch. So I need like the firing mechanism should be like some kind of like relay. I think that's what that's what they use for this. Okay, uh, we might change this. I'm not really sure, but I'll do this. And then um, I will uh, give this guy a, um, uh, the trigger, I'll call this guy the trigger. And I'm going to give it a port number of like one to kind of pop out on. Okay, like this stuff's a little bit different. Um, we all need to explore this, but um, but that's you need, you need a couple of things to kind of run the system. Okay. And then what, over here, what we're going to do is um, instead of adding robot drive, we still have two motors and two, um, these are like motor things. So you can run the cans as well, like down here. Um, but we don't, we're not going to run it in this kind of system that runs like motors. What we're going to do is we're going to use the motors to run specific parts of the aimer, okay? So I'm just going to go right down here and add an actuator. Uh, an actuator is a fancy word for like the motors, anything that actuates or makes things, makes actual motion, basically. And I'm going to add two can talons, okay? I think that's what we'll do um, for right now. This is like kind of version one. We might change this, this thing. But I'm going to run two motors. There are these certain type of motors called window motors that I can use for the um, for the thing. Okay, and I'm going to try this. So I already have can talon one and two, so I'm going to have to have can talon, um, and they're all going to be on the can bus. So I can go can talon three, which is going to have can ID three, and I can have um, and I can call this one um, um, right left. Okay, um, and it should be can talon three. Okay, and this should be um, here. This should be can talent four, four um, up, down. Okay, that'll be four. And I can run these guys independently of each other. That's the thing. See, like the robot drive, the motors run kind of at the same time, always, um, or pretty much always. And these guys are sort of independent. So what happens is, that, like the talent, the talents gets kind of just used straight ahead. And there you have it. That's what you need to do. You need to get this built and submitted to me. And what I need to get is I need you guys to save it as. Okay. So this is like um, RoboYML. Put your team name. You know, this is like Mr. Rush 555 um, T-shirt cannon. Save it in a folder for yourself, or whatever. I'm going to run the desktop here. But what I need to get submitted to Canvas is this exact file. So you're going to go like this, and then you're going to go find them. Um, you can put Robot Builder right now because it's done. Um, but we're going to do this, and then um, uh, I want to 
want to get that YML file and ship that to Canvas. It's this guy right here. Okay, that's that's what it is. Okay, so so I want to see that file in um, on Canvas. So you're going to submit that, and that will take care of it for your team. So thanks a lot, and good luck.